Cole. I am a cybersecurity expert, have been working in cybersecurity for over 30 years, and I love my job. I love helping to keep the world safe, and everything is moving electronic. I've worked at the CIA for 11 years. I was a chief scientist at Lockheed Martin, CTO of McAfee. I've done work for the Gates family. I've also was a commissioner on cybersecurity for President Obama. I have eight books. I was inducted into the InfoSec Hall of Fame. And I'll be honest with you. I am sometimes accused of being a geek. I sometimes go out to dinner with friends or family members. They ask what I do, and I get all excited. And five minutes later, they look at me and go, we have no idea what you just said. Right? The words were supposedly English, right? but we had no idea what they meant. And one of those terms that I just recognize because I've been using it for 30 years, but most people don't, is nation state attack. What in the world does that mean? Essentially, when a nation state attack, it's what you would think of cyber warfare. It's country against country trying to break in, cause harm and cause damage, but one big difference. They're not using tanks. They're not using airplanes. They're not using missiles. They're using computers. They're using zeros and ones that are being sent across to target and cause harm. And here's the interesting thing. In the real world, there are allies. The United States is typically an ally with Canada, with the UK, with Germany. In cyberspace, there are no allies. Do you realize over 10% of cyber attacks are coming from Canada? 17% are coming from the UK. These are countries that we think are allies, but in cyberspace, it's every country for themselves. And here's the scariest part. We regulate physical weapons of mass destruction. For example, North Korea cannot build a nuclear weapon. We can check that with satellites, we can monitor, we can watch their activity. But there are no regulations on cyber weapons. So North Korea can and has built cyber nuclear weapons. Just think about this. With a cyber weapon, I can take over air traffic control and crash airplanes. I can take over water supply and poison an entire city. I can take down critical infrastructure. Now that hasn't happened yet because it's just like with physical nuclear weapons. We have a lot of nuclear weapons, we don't use them but the fact that we have them as a threat and intimidation. Do you realize that Russia and North Korea have access to our water supply, to our electricity, to other critical systems? They haven't done anything, but the mere fact that they have control means it is a threat that they can use to influence how we work and how we operate. So I'm not sitting here trying to just scare you for no reason, but I want to raise your awareness. Because most people don't realize just the exposures that exist because everything we do today is reliant on computers and those computers can and have been controlled by other nations and that's what we refer to as a nation state attack and that's something as a citizen and an individual you have to be aware of those exposures and risks that exist. Once again, I'm Eric Cole, cybersecurity expert. If your company needs help, you can go to secureanchor.com. Or if you want practical ways to protect yourself and your family, pick up a copy of Online Danger.